The story you are about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. Any idea where this Hamel Musk could be right now, friends, family? Nah, he was alone. Uh, took off in the middle of the night. Useless, scum laughing shitbag. Just the facts, ma'am. He leave anything else behind. Hi, welcome back to another episode of Cook Like Chris with Chris Cook. The cooking show you deserve, but not necessarily need. I'm your host, Chris, and on today's episode, we're making steak. T-bone steak, to be exact. However, it's like a thousand degrees outside. So instead of doing it on my barbecue or fire pit, I'm actually going to be doing it on my stovetop and oven. The recipe I'm trying today, but I guess really it's more of a cooking technique, uh, comes from mabels.com. First off, what's great about this recipe? It's just the recipe on the website. That's it. There's no uh, life story about the writer's trip to South America and, and their close brush with death that, that reawakened their love for steak and cooking. None of that stuff. It's like just the recipe, how to cook it, how to cook it in different ways, and even a little handy chart. It's probably because LaBelle's is not like a cooking uh, website. It's actually a butcher shop from New York City. Hi, I'm Mark LaBelle. When you start with a great raw steak, any way you choose to do it, you'll wind up with a great tasting cooked steak. All right, let's stop uh, wasting any more time and check out what we need. First off is the steak, T-bone steak. I got two of them. They're about, they're about an inch thick, maybe an inch and a quarter. Um, I'm not too sure. I'm gonna haul it an inch though. You're gonna need olive oil, kosher salt, and black pepper. For tools, you're gonna need a oven-proof frying pan or a skillet. I have this, I, I guess this is a skillet. It's the Rock, it's from Starfruit. Um, I usually use it for like pancakes and crepes, but if you flip it over, it has this like skillety side to it, so that's what I'm using. You're also gonna need paper towel. So that's all you need, pretty simple so far. Now it's time to make some steak. Before you start, make sure your steak has warmed up to room temperature. So you're gonna preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Then you're gonna use your paper towel to pat down and dry your steak. You wanna get all that moisture off. Then you're gonna get your skillet going. You're gonna to wanna to put your skillet on a high heat and you're gonna let that heat up until it's smoking or until drops of water evaporate on contact. While your skillet is heating, you're going to brush your steaks with olive oil and then rub on the kosher salt and pepper. When the skillet is ready, you'll put them on carefully. The recipe says you need about two to three minutes per side. Uh, I'm gonna split the difference on that and do it for two and a half minutes. This is a really good lesson to why you should uh, read all your instructions properly because it does say to make sure you put your oven fan on because it's gonna get really smoky. And I missed that part. If you like what you see here on Cook Like Chris with Chris Cook, be a friend. Like and subscribe. Once seared, you're gonna put the whole thing straight into the oven, skillet and all. The LaBelle's recipe actually has this um, handy little cooking chart. Since I'm searing for a total of five minutes, uh, they're gonna need another five minutes uh, in the oven for medium rare. When they're done, we're gonna take them out and put them on a platter and let them rest for five minutes. I'm, I'm shocked how well this looks and how well it smells, despite all the chaos uh, in its cooking. Um, that leaves only really one thing left to do, it's uh, to try this out. Might be cooked a little bit more than I expected, but uh, here it goes. Mmm, that's quite tasty. It doesn't seem to have the same like smokiness like my fire pit would have done, but that was pretty good. That was really good. Hmm. It's cooked more than I probably would have liked it, and the crust is okay around the edges. The center is not as crusty, it seems. In the end, I only did the searing for two minutes because I was freaking out with all the smoke. Um, I think, though, I should have persevered for the three minutes of searing. 
and then probably only a few more minutes um, actually in the oven, if anything, even um, to get that medium rare. Right now, it's probably like medium, maybe medium well, which, you know, I'll still eat. Mm. So, thanks again for joining me on Cook Like Chris with Chris Cook. Let me know what you think about uh, this recipe from labelle.com. Um, and if you have any tips on how to improve it, uh, you can do that by leaving a comment down below. Remember, as always, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So until next time, see you later. At least it tastes good. <laughs>